Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the coin and welcome to your latest Chelsea news. Ladies and gentlemen, it it looks like it's Enzo Maresca. It does look like it's Enzo Maresca and um, it's almost done. It's almost done to anyone that sort of hoped or believed that it could be Roberto De Zerbi. Well, those, those belief, those hope, you can throw it in the bin. Obviously, we already know that Ruben Amarim is not in the race. Thank God Thomas Frank is, is not considered. And Kieran McKenna, we already heard that that's not going to happen as well. So, look, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, let's have a look at the news. And I'm going to give you guys my, my thoughts on the whole situation. I don't really have too much to say about Enzo Maresca because... Honestly speaking, I don't really watch him. I've n- I've not watched Leicester in the Championship, but I do want to talk about some other personnel. I think it's very, very important to talk about that. But first up, ladies and gentlemen, David Einstein. This is the latest. Leicester City give Chelsea formal permission to talk with Enzo Maresca for head coach vacancy. 44-year-old expected to agree contract of minimum five years Leicester City FC will receive compensation from Chelsea plus appointment expected to be completed this week. And uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a twist. We're going to come to that twist very, very soon. Uh, apparently, Enzo Maresca is in no rush. We're going to come back to that. That's the latest that has dropped in. Uh, but to further continue with the Enzo Maresca news, Chelsea are ready to hand Enzo Maresca five-year deal. Maresca seen as the right fit for the squad and the club structure. Five years. Five years again. Look, let's talk about this before before we move on to further into this news. First of all, five years again. Five years. Um, didn't we learn the lesson with Graham Potter? Giving someone five-year contract. Five-year contract. You're now... Th- this is it. And this is what I want to talk about. This situation now with the sporting directors, I'm not even blaming the manager anymore. I don't I don't really know what expectation I can actually have on Enzo Maresca, who has not he has not managed at the highest level. He has not managed at the highest level. His previous experience, I think, I think was Serie B. And now in the championship and straight from Serie B championship and boom into the Chelsea team with all the pressures that you have managing Chelsea. What expectations can I have? In one hand, I'm thinking, well, we finished sixth last season in a lack, lackluster season under Pochettino. You'd think, okay, whoever comes in will need to improve on that and take us into the Champions League position. But this particular brother, he hasn't got experience at the highest level. Now, how can I ask him to carry an inexperienced team as well and him being inexperienced as well and, and expect that we're going to we're gonna better whatever we did last season, finishing sixth, we're going to better that and finishing in fourth position minimum, top four position, bring us back into Champions League again. For me, to a certain level, it feels ludicrous. But on the other side of the coin, you feel like, well, that's what we need. We can't have another season of mediocrity. We can't have another season where we don't make it to Champions League. And I feel like this is this is it for the sporting directors. You've made a lot of mistakes all throughout since you've been put in place to run the show at Chelsea Football Club. You've made a lot of mistakes in terms of managerial decisions. There hasn't been one single, you know, one single recruitment, one single appointment that has worked out. If this doesn't work out, ladies and gentlemen, with Enzo Maresca, these sporting directors will need to Honestly, handcuff themselves and check themselves out of the building. Really, they do. Because we can't afford to get this wrong. And I, and I guess this is why they're probably giving the five-year contract, kind of putting a stamp in authority that we believe in this guy. Regardless of where he finishes in the table, we believe in this guy. We're going to back this guy. Me, I, I'm. It, it's, it is underwhelming for me. It is underwhelming. It is 100% underwhelming. I get the whole, you know, I get the whole situation where he's worked under Pep Guardiola. He's, he's one of Pep's disciples. I get that. I fully understand. He he comes from that school of thought. He's going to want a lot of control. He's going to want a lot of, um, you know, his, his approach is going to be very methodical. 
a lot of the players will will like his instructions and his organization. I get that, but I, I, I don't know what – how does he react when it comes to adversities? What happens if Chelsea go through a patch of bad form? Is this guy going to be able to meet – the expectations from the fan base. Is he going to be able to talk the talk? Is he going to just come in and say, look, we're not ready yet. It's a process, this, that, the other, patience. Or is he going to be able to tell us, look, club like Chelsea stature needs to be a lot better. This is why I wanted De Zerbi because to a certain level, he's got the experience in the Premier League at least. His fundamentals of, of footballing you know, his, his philosophy is, is strong. It's something that you can, you can look at and say, do you know what? With the right players, the right squad, maybe you can do something. I'm just, I'm just very, very concerned. Now, ladies and gentlemen, sources close to Maresca have said that he's not in a rush and could decide to stay if he, uh, if he has any late reservations about joining Chelsea. Look, ah. Uh, You'd think a manager like Enzo Maresca, if Chelsea comes knocking on your door, you're you're taking the opportunity. You're taking the opportunity. But is he is he is he man enough to say that? Look, I doubt your structure suits me. I mean, I, I don't even know whether this guy's a yes man or not. A lot of people are saying that he didn't worry too much about who Leicester brought in. Leicester were obviously financially struck by a lot of issues last season. Um, you know, he wasn't worried about who Leicester was bringing in. He wasn't worried about who Leicester was letting go of in the likes of Madison and so on and so forth. A lot of people are saying that he will fit our structure. He will fit um, exactly what our owners and our board are looking for. He's not going to kick up a fuss. But then there's other fans from Leicester City are saying that, no, he does get angry, especially in media. He doesn't hold back. If, if things go a bit pear-shaped, he does throw people under the bus. I, I don't know because that will not go down well. And, and I'm worried if there is a moment where there is some level of disagreement, you, you're you about to hand this guy a five-year contract. I'm sorry. You cannot have any disagreements. Whether that's from the manager's side, whether that's from the sporting director's owner's side, five-year contract, yeah, you need to now stick together. And this this... I cannot fathom if if this if this doesn't work out. If this doesn't work out with us, we are done for. We are absolutely done for. And we cannot have another Grand Potter situation where we've given a manager a five-year contract and it's not worked out. And within the first 12 months, he's gone. And there is a bit of a compensation that we need to pay for, for um, getting uh, Mariska services from Leicester. I think it's roughly around 10 million euros or pounds, something like that. So... Not only a five-year contract, there's a compensation. So you better hope this works out. You absolutely better hope it works out. Chelsea are ready to hand Enzo Maresca a five-year deal. Maresca seen as the right fit for the squad and club structure. Chelsea hope to appoint Maresca in the next 20, uh, 72 hours. Maresca wants to bring five staff with uh, with him. Caballero is expected to be one. Well, we're going to be re reuniting back with Willy Caballero, Caballero who's been a cult uh, figure at Chelsea previously. So looks like some of the current people, uh, whoever, I think we might have a Brighton um, goalkeeper coach. He probably needs to go. Um, whether Willie Caballero becomes a goalkeeper coach, we'll, we'll see. Enzo Maresca has told Leicester he wants to join Chelsea. There you go. But then we ha we've seen contradictory reports as well saying that he's not going to rush into it. Chelsea have studied how Arteta eventually thrived after leaving Guardiola's staff and hope Maresca can flourish in the same way. So, look, a lot of people obviously continuously link us to how things have happened with Arteta. All I'm going to say is that when Arteta came into Arsenal, it took him time. It took him time. He didn't become who he is now immediately. It took him good three seasons. We've already wasted two seasons under the new ownership. We're willing to waste another three more, make it five. That would be detrimental. Now, people will say, well, Arteta had a better, didn't have a, a better squad as we do right now. Look, let's be honest. Our squad is still inexperienced, though. We may have a lot more talented players, but it's very inexperienced. With an inexperienced manager. To think two sides of inexperience, you know, 
components coming together and we, we're going to create magic next season. Let's see. Let's hope. That's all I can do. That's all I can do is just hope. Winston and Stewart have built up an instant repo with Mareska. He passed data analysis and background checks, is viewed positively for working under Pep Guardiola and, and had uh, knowledge of Chelsea's squad. Of course, he'll have knowledge. Well, the one thing we can say about Mareska is he comes across a particular individual who, who lives and breathes football. He obviously does a um, hell of a lot of research as to, you know, how he's going to utilize his squad, how he's going to, um, you know, play against the opposition. He comes across a tactician, no problems. But this is, this is bad boy league, Premier League. It's an absolute bad boy league. And it's all going to come down to how quickly can you get the players buying, how quickly can you get the fans buying. <sighs> Yeah, that's all I can hope for, man. I'm glad that it's not Thomas Frank. Maybe it was never going to be Thomas Frank anyway, and they've just put Thomas Frank's name there so that it kind of gives us the gives us the feel that, oh, Enzo Mariska is a lot better, and you start appreciating Enzo Mariska. So maybe Thomas Frank was just a bit of a smokescreen thing. Um, look, all I'm going to say is that I have to hope. I just have to hope that we do well, and... I don't know what the expectation is for me next season. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm clouded in my head now. Like for me, this is a bit underwhelming. I'm really clouded in my head. You know, how can I trust these owners and these sporting directors that have never made a right decision in terms of managerial appointments to now all of a sudden say that, no, nah, this is it. This is the right one. And I fully believe it. I have to be proven wrong. I have to be proven wrong. I can't sit here and just completely say, yeah, close my eyes and just entrust these people. I cannot. I'm sorry. I can't be fake. Let's just see how the preseason starts. Let's see how the players react to this manager. Let's see how the manager reacts to the fans. Let's see what type of football we can play on field. And then can we can we build on what we did and how we finished things off last season? Can we build on that and not go another step backward? It will be a change of philosophy. We won't have... So much basketball game anymore. I feel it's going to be a lot more control. Him, you know, Mariska coming from that Pep Guardiola school, school of Pep Guardiola, you know, there's going to be control. So I like that. <sighs> That's all I can say, man. That's all I can say. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts about Enzo Mariska, how you feel about that. The last bit of news that I want to end up with is, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news Chelsea have made contact offer. Uh, contract offer to Tosin, who's I think is on a free agent at the moment. He's a free agent at the moment. So look, I like the defender, Fulham defender, uh, robust young defender. Got a lot of pace about him. Uh, overall, his defensive attributes are pretty good. Um, we need defenders. He's a young defender. So why not? We love to have young defenders. Let's see if there's anything latest from PYS's page before we wrap things up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now that's that's the latest. So yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts about ends of Mariska, ends of Fernandez, ends of Mariska being the Chelsea manager. It is going to happen. I think it's a done deal now. Forget about anyone else. So in the comment section, let me know. We shall see you guys for a live stream tomorrow after potentially all you can eat Chelsea, and then um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a here we go very very soon for ends of Mariska. Until next time, everyone. Take care. See ya.